Hi everyone, so today I'm using the Hema Free Gel Polish Goja Berry which is a really gorgeous pink colour, you can see I've got it on my nails I'm using that on the base of my nail taking care around that cuticle and as you can see how pigment it is you could really get away with just doing one coat if you wanted I did go in and do two coats but Let's be fair, it wasn't really even necessary. So once I was happy with that coverage and I'd cured it in the lamp for 60 seconds, came in with my non-white top coat and I covered the nail. I then come in with the 180 sponge buffer file and I lightly buff over that non-white top coat to make a nice matte effect. I know many of you are asking when Annabelle is going to bring out a matte top coat and it's definitely on the cards but as we all know Annabelle want, likes to get everything perfect so she won't release it until it is absolutely perfect. So in the meantime Use your non-white top coat, lightly buff it off and it creates a perfect matte nail anyway. So anyway, <laughs> I then came in with some non-white top coat, created that nice swirl on the nail and then came in with some chrome powder, rubbed that in and again coming in with some more non-white top coat there over the chrome, curing it under lamp just so that obviously the chrome doesn't rub off or wash away. Coming in with the Glitter Bells gel white paint now and I am just basically framing the chrome and just creating a little swirl effect. Again, as normal, I didn't really have a true idea in my head what I wanted the nails to look like. I just made them up as I went along, as always. So on this nail, I don't know if anybody can spot the mistake here, I didn't buff that nail mat. So when I come in to do my chrome, I realised the chrome was sticking to all of the nail, not just where I'd created the swell. But obviously, the magic of editing, we edited that bit out. So there you go, can you see my mistake? It's sticking to all of the nail, not just my bit. But once I did it out and I'd realised my mistake, obviously I buffed that and redid it and then as if by magic it looks like this. <laughs> so I'm coming in again here, framing around in the white. As you can see on my brush I literally have the tiniest amount of gel paint on there because you really don't need a lot, it goes such a long way, it's so pigmented. Placements of where I want the chrome to go and then coming in with that white again. I used to always use the short um, fine liner brush but I've, I've actually kind of converted to this long fine liner brush now and I'm finding it a lot easier. So that's the end result. I hope you like them. Thank you for watching.